Hi there, Dr. Shelby here at Evolve Chiropractic in Woodstock. Have you ever noticed that you're having a lot of front shoulder pain, your pec feels really tight, or again, you're just sitting all day and you're, you know you're in this hunched forward position because you work at a computer or you're on your phone all day? Well, it's a pretty common issue to have pec pain or tightness that we often associate as shoulder pain. So there's two parts to our pec muscle. We have our pec minor and our pec major. This is primarily for the pec major, so that big muscle that sits on top there. Now, the pec goes all the way from the shoulder into your chest bone here and it goes all the way from up underneath your collarbone down a little bit so we're gonna be taking this lacrosse ball and we're going to be utilizing a corner of some sort or a door frame preferably without a lip on it and we're going to be taking this lacrosse ball and I always say just start right under the collarbone you can either start right in towards the the chest bone there or out towards the shoulder I kind of like just to start in the middle here so as I'm going through this, I'm going to take that corner and I'm going to take the ball and I'm just going to step right by it. This is so if I do it the opposite direction, my face gets in the way. So I have to start turning my neck and that's going to create neck pain and neck problems, which we don't have time for. So we're taking this lacrosse ball. We're putting it in the pec. We're going to push it against the wall here and we're going to step forward just past the wall. And from there, what we can do is we can roll the ball in a few different directions. We can roll it up and down. We can roll it side to side, or we can kind of roll it in a little bit of a circle here. So as you may have noticed, when I was rolling the ball up and down, I was not just moving my shoulder. Again, if you're doing this motion or you're just moving your shoulder up and down, what that's gonna do is that's gonna start activating that trap muscle and it can overwork that trap muscle. So we don't wanna be overworking muscles that we're trying to help relax here. So we take the lacrosse ball, we're putting it in this area and if I'm gonna roll it up and down, I'm just gonna do some mini squats here, okay? So some mini squats. Now this first part of the Lacrosse ball, what I like to do is I like to do a scanning pass. So what that means is I kind of roll the ball around a little bit in different little motions. So again, either up or down, side to side or around, just trying to find areas where I'm like, ooh, yep, that's it. Once I find that, I'm going to either hold the ball in that position or again, make little movements around that area. Now, if I know that there's a certain movement that causes me pain or discomfort as I'm holding the ball here, like moving my arm out to the side or stretching my arm back, I can then do those movements in this position. I prefer just to go up and down and then side to side with this. Now, as we're doing these lacrosse ball exercises, we wanna make sure we're doing them for a minimum of two minutes in each area. And we don't wanna be causing any pain while we're doing these. A little bit of discomfort is okay, but if you're pushing in there and you're feeling like you have to grit your teeth or you're starting to cry because it's so painful, you either wanna take pressure off or stop the exercise completely for the time being because we don't wanna cause any more pain or discomfort in that area. Try it out, but keep it moving.